हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन ट्रिक नंबर टू जीरो सिक्स आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू ए कॉम्प्लेक्स टाइप ऑफ इक्वेशन एंड वी विल बी सॉल्विंग दिस टाइप ऑफ इक्वेशन थ्रू ए शॉर्टकट ट्रेडिशनल मेथड ऑफ सॉल्विंग दिस टाइप ऑफ इक्वेशन विल कंज्यूम ए लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड थ्रू दिस अमेजिंग शॉर्टकट यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन इन ए मैटर ऑफ जस्ट फाइव टू सिक्स सेकेंड्स नाउ दिस इज ए पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ इक्वेशन इन विच वी हैव टू टर्म्स both terms have a common base the base is say a it can be any number and the power of these two terms see here we have b minus 1 and here we have b plus 1 so we have a common term b reduced by 1 in the first term and increased by 1 in the second term this is a very common question very uh, simple problem which are asked in competitive exams in uh, clerical uh, grade exams staff selection commission exams banking exams and so on wherever numerical aptitude exam is being conducted so this particular equation rhs can be any number say right, right hand side we have any number c now for solving this type of equation the traditional method will involve using the laws of indices wherein you must know what to do when we have a difference of two terms in the power or addition or the sum of two terms in the power and then you have to separate the powers so even substitution method is applied to solve this type of problem now for solving this question through shortcut i will take an example and illustrate this say we have 3 raised to power a minus 1 and 3 raised to power a plus 1 now here in this question this a and c they are constants and we need to find the value of b so these two are constants a a and c these are constants and b is the variable which we need to find out now in this question i have taken a as 3 and the variable b is changed to a and in the rhs we have any a constant term 810 now see we will apply we will uh, learn this shortcut here and apply it here what you do is take the first term a power b minus 1 take the rhs c and just divide this by 1 plus a square now you have to reduce the equation to this form first take the first term which is the difference of the two terms in the power and take the rhs as it is and just divide it by 1 plus a square Now see here, first term is 3 raised to power a minus 1. RHS is 810, and we have to divide it by 1 plus a square. So 1 plus a. A was the base. So here the base is 3. So divided by 3 square. So you see 800, 810 divided by 3 square, 9 plus 1, 10. So 10 gets cancelled. So you have. 81 in the right hand side and obviously whenever the, it is a simplification problem you will have a term in the rhs which can be reduced to the same base in the lhs so lhs has a base 3 so we need to reduce 81 also in powers of 3 so we all know that 81 is 3 raised to power 4 so whenever bases are same you can equate the powers so this gives a minus 1 equal to 4 a comes out to be 5 now see a small sequence of steps a small shortcut and you can solve this complex equation very very easily in just 5 seconds time let us practice this using one more equation say we have 5 raised to power 2x minus 1 5 raised to power 2x plus 1 and in the rhs you have 3 2 5 0 
Now see, I am applying the same shortcut. 5 raised to power 2x minus 1 becomes equal to 3 to 5 0 upon 1 plus 5 square. Here yeah, the base is 5, so 5 square. So 3 to 5 0 upon this is 26. And when you cancel this with 26, 26 ones are 26, 65, 26 twos are 52, 130, 26 fives. So you have 2x minus 1 is equal to 5 is to power 2x minus 1 equal to 125 and 125 is 5 cube. So again the bases are same, just equate the powers. You will get your final answer as 2. See, we have found out the value of x within no time. One more. See, we have the powers of 2 now. And in the RHS, obviously, we will have a term which can be reduced easily. So, 2 raised to power y minus 1 will be equal to, this is 640 upon 1 plus 2 square. So, 640 upon 5 and when you divide 640 by 5, you will get 128. Now 128 is actually 2 raised to power. If you keep on multiplying, 2 to the 4 to the 8 to the 16, 32, 64, 128. So this is 2 raised to power 7. So now we have a common base. So just equate the powers y minus 1 becomes equal to 7. So y becomes equal to 8. So you see in each case we have found out the value of the variable without any lengthy calculations, without applying any principles or laws of indices and we have arrived at the answer within no time. So these kind of shortcuts help you in saving a lot of time in competitive exams. So that is the purpose of my channel. For watching all the videos we have posted approximately two, 206 videos tricks for you for success in competitive exams you can watch all these tricks on the website sureshagarwal.com also and learn all the shortcuts related to competitions so keep viewing the channel and subscribe and share the videos if you like it